when he saw his tree. Reading 100 words per minute. He called the tree doctor from right away to pop the new tree doctor. And enjoying every second of it. And she record me and now I'm going to record her because I was doing the voice of reading all of this. And when the, because we were timing, because she was timing me for one minute and, and I was reading and then I stopped to right here and then we counted out and then, and then I the can, words and see how much you yeah, read on the iPad. For teacher Ruth Whitten, these new pieces of technology are a dream come true. I have always looked forward to the day and I've always told my friends, oh, one day we will have all of our books on the iTouch. One day handwriting will almost become obsolete because we will use computers. And all of them said no. And in fact, yes, here it is. Ruth says it's not just about bringing these kids and even their parents into the technological age, but about alleviating some issues that have plagued school children for years. So having, you know, like 50 pounds on their backpack, in their backpack every day. Um, it hurts their backs, it isn't good for them. But to be able to have all of their books on an eye touch is awesome. And also, if a book becomes outdated, a book will not be replaced between nine and ten years. But an eye touch, the software can be updated instantly. But the old form of learning to read isn't long gone for these first graders. They still depend on the old books. We just read and then we just look at the words because our finger it goes to the words and then it helps us read better. They just get a little learning boost from new technology. In McAllen, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.